do you sometimes just stop yourself from taking action when you actually know that you're supposed to be doing something that would either help you be, do, and have um, a life that's, you know, of a happier existence? Or sometimes there's actions that you're supposed to be taking in order for you to bring your business a lot further or just, you know, get more revenue and actually, you know, create for and relate for um, and relate to your audience or your customers. Because obviously we have to do things for them uh, only because they're going to be affording us, um, you know, that lifestyle that we really crave for. So sometimes we stop ourselves dead in the tracks. We don't act, we don't read, and we don't produce or create content or anything that's supposed to be bringing us, you know, closer to our uh, audience there. The reason is there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of self-doubt. There's a lot of, um, you know, uh, pull. Tall, tall poppy syndrome. There's also a lot of, um, you know, yes, I did mention self doubt um, that goes along with, um, you know, us creating content and feeling that we're probably not adequate. And sometimes we stop ourselves dead in the tracks and um, we don't know what to do with ourselves. I want to give you a practical analogy or a practical thing that. If you're like me, normally when you are driving, you've got music on full blast. It's probably your favorite song playing um, or you miss listening to some sort of motivational tape. Whenever the GPS or whenever you feel like you're getting lost, what's the first thing that you normally do? I reach out to lower the volume in the car. All right. Not, not that the volume is going to make me understand or listen a little bit better, but for some weird reason, we just want calm so that we can think straight. Now, can you imagine that is what is happening in your head every time you now have that imposter syndrome or every time you, you feel like you're inadequate? There's a lot of chatter that's happening in our brain because our brain is only wired for sex, to get food, homeostasis, and to procreate. All of this that we're doing in our lives um, every single day, showing up, reading, connecting with technology and all that stuff, our limbic brain, our caveman brain is not wired for that. So that's why sometimes we always have the fight or flight, um, you know, a response that our brain normally gets back to. And we now have that imposter syndrome. We can't, um, you know, talk in public or, you know, give a public speech or go on Facebook live. All of those things are all because our brain is not wired for what we are um, trying to put ourselves in. So it's there to just protect us so that we don't die. And normally when you're afraid, it shuts down. And once your brain um, shuts down, you, it, it stops um, doing all the activities that are designed to last, to make your body last for more than 10, 10 years. And it starts operating for the immediate survival instinct, right? So that shuts out your brain, that shuts out um, everything, your capacity to actually make concrete decisions. And in there, you now start having the clutter, um, you know, or the chatter brain that just tells you, oh, you shouldn't do this, or you're not worthy enough, or you're an imposter, or you start having the imposter syndrome. Turn down the volume of the radio and let the GPS recalibrate itself. Your brain knows where you're supposed to go. The universe will take notice when you start taking action. I just thought about this and I figured, you know, sometimes we're driving around, you're listening to motivational music, you're listening to some sort of music or something like that. And you would notice if you start getting lost, you turn down the, 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 the volume of the radio. Why don't you turn down the noise, the idle chatter that's happening in your brain that's actually stopping you from being, doing, and having whatever, um, you know, either a life that's worth living or a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I hope this works. Let me know in the comments what you think about this thought. It's not refined. I will keep working on it, but it's something that I think is going to work, um, you know, with you. The more you turn down the noise that's happening around, it could be your friends, your relatives, all those people that are not really helping you out. The more you turn down the noise, the more focus you now have. And when you have focus, you now have, you now follow one course until you're successful. So turn down the noise.